Working in Camera Raw 7 with the latest Process 2012, it is also possible now to apply localized noise reduction. Now, here you can see an image that's already been converted to Process 2012, and I've got the detail panel highlighted at the moment. And the slider settings you see here are exactly the same as those that were introduced to Process 2010. So I can apply at the moment a global noise reduction adjustment to this image, and I've already adjusted the settings here. And you'll see that although this is a high ISO image, ISO 3200, I haven't really taken the luminance slider up too high to remove all the noise. If I did take it up high, you can see that I can quite effectively remove all the the luminance noise that was visible in the background. But the problem of doing this is that it tends to soften the detail, such as in the fish, where it matters. So um, in this instance, what I'm going to do is I'm going to edge off, ease off here to apply the original setting of just 15 for the luminance noise reduction and preserve the detail that you can see here on the fish and then use a localized adjustment to get rid of the luminance noise that's still visible in the background. So let me come up here to the adjustment brush. And here you can see, as I showed you in the other movie to do with um, shadows uh, reduction, um, you can see there are all these extra sliders. And what I want to do here is to go to the noise reduction slider and take it all the way up to 100. It's a positive value I'm applying here because I want to apply a positive amount of noise reduction to reduce the image. Then if I adjust the size of the cursor, and then just click and, and paint. You can see that by painting over the image using the noise reduction at this high setting, it's possible to remove all the noise that could be seen there. And if I now select a smaller size cursor, I can perhaps just go more closely around the outline of the fish itself, taking care not to paint too much over the edge. And that will do it. It's not perfect, but I mean, that gives you a pretty good idea of what we can achieve using this adjustment. So if I just toggle off, so you can see the before, if I toggle the preview back on again, you can see there's the before and after applying the additional noise reduction to the background. And what it's effectively doing is applying an amplified amount of noise reduction based on the detail panel setting adjustments that I'd applied earlier. So it is linked in with whatever you apply to the uh, detail panel controls. You'll also notice that when I adjusted the noise reduction down here that it started from a default setting of zero and I chose to add plus 100 here to apply extra noise reduction. If I was to take it all the way down to minus 100, then you're applying a negative noise reduction, which is in effect the uh, undoing the noise reduction, reduction that has been applied globally. So for example, if in an image like this, the fish was very small amongst uh, a huge background area, rather than applying the positive noise reduction as I did here, to remove noise from the background, it would make sense to use the detail panel controls to apply the global adjustment that deals with the noise effectively where it's needed most over the entire image, and then apply a negative noise reduction to undo that adjustment and then take it back to more of a default setting so that you can then paint selectively over the area of interest. In this case, it would be the fish. So two approaches that you can use depending on which is the biggest problem that you need to tackle. Now, having done that, let me just now go over to this image and show you how to work with the new moire reduction in Process 2012. So here is an image where if we look carefully in close up at the roof tiles of the Sydney Opera House, you can see that there is a fair amount of moire in, uh, in this photograph. And to address this, we can use the Moire reduction control, which is available over here, where you have the adjustment brush selected. So if I undo the noise reduction that I applied for the previous example and set the Moire reduction to plus 100, I can adjust the size of the cursor and uh, paint over the, um, the roof tiles 
just to get rid of the moiré that can be seen in this photo. And as you can see, it's pretty effective at getting rid of all those moiré artifacts. Um, it would take a little while for me to go over the whole image to go and get rid of those, but um, you can see just by looking at that close-up area there, it's really quite an effective tool. You can also find this same image available uh, for download uh, from the images section of the website. So go there if you want to download this. You can get a full-size version, exactly like the one you've seen here, to try working on this yourself. Now, where are you going to see this being a problem in your, with your own photography? Uh, hopefully, not a lot. If you're using a digital SLR camera, the chances are that the anti-aliasing um, uh, element that covers the sensor will do a good job of actually preventing moiré from occurring in the first place. However, if you're working with medium format cameras with um, large uh, megapixel capabilities, you will sort of find that this is something that is likely to be more of a problem and so hence the ability to reduce the moiré will be a real big bonus for photographers who are working with medium format cameras. But then having said that, uh, there is also now the new uh, D800e camera that's going to be coming out from Nikon fairly soon, at the time I recorded this movie, which um, is purporting to have no anti-aliasing um, element covering the sensor, which means that you should be able to capture really crisp uh, images, providing you're using good lens optics at I think about 38 uh, megapixels. With a camera of this kind, photographing subjects like this, you are probably going to most likely suffer from moiré occurring from time to time, um, which I don't think should really bother anybody because now working with Camera Raw uh, 7 as well as in Lightroom uh, 4, you now have, as I've shown here, the ability to remove such moiré from your images. Mm -hmm.